Last spring, a team from San Francisco State University and the United States Geological Survey conducted research at Ocean Beach in order to gain a greater understanding of the currents and wave patterns on San Francisco's western edge. The area south of Slope Boulevard is prone to erosion, and parts of the Great Highway were closed following strong storms last winter. There is obviously strong, you know, large erosional problems on the south end of the beach. I mean, in the recent storms over the winter that became very clear when the, when the Great Highway was uh, eroding, had to be closed off, and other infrastructure was uh, in danger because of that. So uh, that is certainly uh, an issue, and that's also one of the driving motivations for this research directly. And the big, big shoal offshore of here causes the waves to refract and focus on the center of the beach which causes the waves to be much bigger there than elsewhere. At the same time, there's strong longshore currents or strong nearshore currents associated with the Golden Gate, uh, the tidal currents flushing through the Golden Gate, which is very unique for this place that there's such strong tidal currents in the nearshore. So the combination of those two makes it a very complex area in terms of its hydrodynamics and as a consequence very hard to model predict what's going to happen to the beach and then trying to understand what's going on, that's really what we're trying to do here. Um, so we have uh, sensors that are out uh, like offshore of the, the surf zone um, in about 10 meters of water or about 30 some, some feet of water. That's basically to get our waves like before they break, like the, the waves like um, information before they're breaking in the surf zone. And then the ones that are in the, the, the very near shore, right here in, in the swash zone, um, are mounted on uh, stainless steel one and a half inch poles that uh, have a, had a um, fire hose attached to the top, and then um, they were uh, jetted into the sand. So basically, uh, we pumped water down down the poles and uh, liquefied the sand, and kind of and kind of digs cavitates a hole and just slides down in and there's about seven feet of the pole underneath the sand uh, with a pressure sensor near the bottom of the pole so the pressure sensor is buried in the sand. All right so what we try to measure is a combination of uh, pressure fluctuations and velocity uh, of the water so what that does basically what you do together you try to measure all the different forces acting on the water and part of that is pressure driven so differences in pressure will cause pressure forces on the water uh, differences in velocity will give you a measure of how much momentum is in the water uh, and how that is transferred from A to B and together we're basically trying to see if we can put the whole picture together on what are the forces that are acting on the water and how that does the water move as a consequence of that and, and does our model our idea of how that should be working does it apply here or are we missing steps of course it becomes you know a question of like how does all of this work I mean that's that's how we you know as a scientist how I'm interested in it I mean of course I'd like to understand that I'd like to be able to model that I'd like to be able to predict that and, and help mitigate it but at the same time you know I think to really do something with that you really have to understand the processes and, and the system as a whole and not just maybe that one location where something is going on